Our next question is prove that root 6 is an irrational number. This question is slightly difficult because till now we have solved root 2, root 3, root 5 all were prime numbers but here 6 is composite number. So for that this is slightly difficult because that theorem when a square divisible by, by p implies a is divisible by p that theorem is possible only for prime numbers when p is prime but here 6 is composite. So first we will also solve this one by the method of contradiction. So first we consider root 6 as a by b where b not equal to 0 and hcf of a and b is 1 that is co-prime. Now squaring both sides we have 6 equal to a square by b square that means a square equal to 6 b square. Now after this we can write a square equal to 2 into 3 b square that is this one we have exp expanded like this. Now here we have taken a square as dividend. 2 as divisor and 3 b squared as quotient. So you can write a square divisible by 2. This means a is also divisible by 2. Now when a is divisible by 2, then we can write a equal to 2 into c for some quotient c, non-zero constant. Now if we square this one, we get a square equal to 4 c square. A square equal to 4 c square. This one we have marked 2 and previously this one we have already marked 1. Now comparing 1 and 2, we got 6b square equal to 4c square, that is 3b square equal to 2c square. Now from this one, right hand side that is 2c square is even number as it is a multiple of 2. Now when right hand side is even number, that means left hand side must be also even, that is 3b square is also even, this line. Now 3 is odd number, out of 3b square, 3 is odd number. That means 3 cannot be even. So for 3 b square even, that means b square must be even. Otherwise, it is not possible. Now when b square is even, that means b square is divisible by 2. So that means b is divisible by 2. That means 2 is a common factor of a and b both. Which contradicts a and b are co-primes. So our assumption was wrong and hence root 6 is irrational number.